Hello, this is a quick demonstration of XL Dissolver, which is an XL add-in that demonstrates the use of MSR's Dissolver to solve a product configuration problem. At this point of the demo, we've just completed running the installer. There is a new shortcut on the desktop labelled PC Configurator, which we open. XL2003 opens and we are presented with the raw product configuration data. That is the various components the end user will be able to choose from to make up their PC. Motherboard, processor, hard disk, etc. Now we switch worksheets from PC components to PC rules. In this worksheet at the top left, we see the decision variables whose value ranges are specified by directly pointing to values in the previous PC components worksheet. Further down, we encounter the combinations of constraints that are going to restrict combinations of values between decision variables. This allows the configurator to compute consistent combinations of PC components. Now we complete the installation from the Tools Add-in dialog box by checking next to Excel Configurator and clicking OK. Two new toolbars appear. We the dock the toolbars, hide the formula bar, and click Build Modeling. The user interface has now been built and the PC Components and PC Rules worksheet hidden from the end user. Let us now act as an end user selecting a new PC. The end user is quite picky and decides they must have an Athlon processor, so they select slot A for the motherboard CPU slot. That causes the constraint solver to propagate the various PC rules. For example, the constraints on the motherboard mean the RAM capacity is now fixed at 3. And accordingly, RAM slot 4 is set to no RAM block. Next, the end user decides that they will choose the maximum CPU frequency left available. That is 800 MHz. They select an AGP graphics card and click Autocomplete to have the system finalize the configuration for them. Well, actually, they decide that they really want two slots filled with RAM, so they click Undo fill with two RAM slots manually and click autocomplete again. Well that is the end of the demo. Make sure that you complete the installation from the tools add-in dialog box by checking the box next to Excel configurator. Thanks for your time.